Hi. So, um, I'm going to tell you something because, you know, uh, I'm doing a lot of, you know, show with Microsoft and, and today we are engaging the company to change the, the way that they do the Windows deployment. You know that this is the old way. The old way is is when you build a custom image uh, and, and, you know, you just uh, build a, a master and with all the software inside and after you deploy it to a new computer and uh this is like all the company is doing today the problem is that it's it's you know times money making this an expensive proposition so maybe there is a new way because today we're using a lot of the cloud and and of course uh when you upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 you have you know when you use the the, the in-place upgrade you have some limitation okay uh because you cannot change from 86 to 64, okay, and 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 also you you know the dual boot and multi boot system is an issue. Uh, the new CRO supported today is is convert, for example, BIOS to to UFE after upgrading, and and you can use like a, a tool like you know this one MBR2 GPT tools. Um, you can add, have additional support for third-party disk encryption via reflect driver process and support for image creation process sysprest after upgrade and suppress the shift f10 command prompt access okay so um, so today something is very nice is windows autopilot deployment okay because it's a cloud driven so you will need to have an azure uh, subscription with EMS with Intune okay so the simple step is you take your Windows 10 you just bought from Dell computer okay imagine you have 10 Windows new laptop okay physical laptop and you can ask to Dell to give you a CSV file with the serial number of your computer and you just have to register this new devices directly to an autopilot profile in Azure and 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 you give the device to the user and when the user will receive the laptop what they will do is that they will just uh, <clears throat> type their username Azure Azure AD username and, and and voila it will deploy everything on your computer without having an image so it's quite simple for example just imagine that <clears throat> you 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 buy let's say 10 new computers okay so let's say you buy it to dell or to ibm or, or novo or hp or what you want okay sr and you ask to your hardware vendor to 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 give you all the device id and what you do is that you upload the device id to autopilot and you configure a profile uh, the other way is imagine that you have existing devices okay you can also retrieve it with a partial script and give it to the IT admin who will upload the device and something was fantastic is that when you ship the new laptop to this new user just imagine you have a user working at home or a company user uh, or imagine I am working at home I have a new devices which ship it directly by Dell to my home address and what is fantastic is that I will use the autopilot uh, deployment services and he will retrieve all the information to my laptop and I can do a lot of things here this is the autopilot this is something very very nice okay so for that for the autopilot what I need is <clears throat> um, I need first uh, Azure okay so I just you know created uh, uh, I, I have an Azure pass okay it's just $100 for me so let's say that I am in France here this is my my, my, my email address I will put my uh, my telephone number here and and okay so you to, to do this lab you will need an Azure uh, subscription okay if you don't want if you don't have an Azure pass because you, you have an Azure pass only if you do an official training with Microsoft you can you know try Azure and it's I try I do for free and Azure will give you two hundred dollar for one month okay so you can spend it for one month and after one month you will have a lot of free product for one year okay so okay so I'm gonna do that sign up and and for intern you must have a EMS a license okay I will show you here so autopilot is new 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 okay it's something that that permit you just to retrieve information about your computer 
and, and upload it to Azure. And after you just send the computer, say to the user, buy a computer everywhere you want, just type your Azure AD user and that's all. Uh, intern is gonna, uh, for example, download for you the Office product. Uh, you can even download, um, install every software you want. He's, he can, you know, upload security uh, setting on your computer and, and that, that's it. So it's really the new way that company is doing today. Uh, that's, 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 I like it, okay? It's something very, very nice. So after that, you just, you just have to follow um, the, the, the lab. You can find it if you say, for example, here, if you type uh, Windows, uh, Azure, um, autopilot and you have a lab okay you just have to to to, uh, to see how it's working okay so uh, with the Windows autopilot you just you know unroll device Windows you know Windows autopilot so you just have to follow uh, all this exercise see unroll Windows device with Intune and this is fantastic why because you know the Windows autopilot simplify unrolling device in Intune building and maintaining customer system image is a time consuming like I told you okay so you must also spend time applying this custom operating system image to a new device to prepare them okay because the old way is that is that is this you, you just have new laptops so you must apply a master with SCCM or MDT or WDS okay so with Microsoft Intune Autopilot you can give new device to your end user with, without the need to build, maintain, and apply custom operating system image. Wow, fantastic! And with Intune, you can you know customize your your computer. Okay, so when you use Intune to manage Autopilot, you can manage policy, profile apps, and more. And this is wow, quite fantastic. Okay, so uh, I will show you all this in in the lab after. So I'm going to put it on my other screen here. And I will show you how to use autopilot and really do it because this is something amazing. Okay, autopilot. So here I have my my of course my my Azure. It's brand new. So for for using autopilot, I must be sure, of course, that my uh, my uh, let me say my Azure is ready for autopilot. Okay, this is important. Okay, so. Uh, for that, you will have to do some exercise here. So uh, the first exercise, of course, is to use EMS uh, license, okay? If you want to test it, okay? So if I go here and I go in my Azure AD, I'm gonna use EMS license to use Intune because if I type Intune here, I don't have the license to use it, okay? So let's go here directly to license and I'm gonna try, oh, product, I'm gonna go here try and I'm going to try you know this because with, with, with EMS you have Intune okay so you must buy it of course it's not it's not free so let's do free trial and let's do activate here okay and you will have Microsoft Intune and PU and P2 a lot of fantastic features so I have to activate here and 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 that's it okay so you just activate here and after you will have here um the uh the, the 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 license will be here okay so sometime you must wait a little and if you go back here in some second it will be here okay so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a user okay just imagine this user is is at home and you will send him a new computer and he will ask he will have to to enroll with his username okay so i'm going to go here in user uh, I'm going to create a new user, okay? So let's say that this user will be Sophie, okay? So this will be my domain name here. Of course, normally you have a, a custom domain name, and this, so this is Sophie uh, Luther, okay? Sophie here, and I will do that, and I will put a password, okay? So uh, that's it. Um, and after I just have to give a usage so she will be in France because you know you need to put the user's location where it is Sophie is working here and I will do create here after that I can go in Sophie and and add her license of course for that so I can go in license here and I can say okay I want to do assignment okay 
problem is that he hasn't seen my license still because it's still under process here so if i go here back here oh uh, you know still i must wait a little okay because if i try to do try again ems like you think you will do you will have an error saying that this license is already activated okay so you must wait sometime i just reboot re, uh, uh, you know uh, I just disconnect this user and I reconnect here, but I think it will be okay just in a few minutes. Okay, so let's go back here, license, and and see if all is okay here. Oh, that's still okay. I must wait a little. Uh, normally, what I'm doing, like I told you, is that I do a logout of my user if I don't want to wait, you know, because we don't want to wait, you know, in IT. <laughs> okay, old product. Okay, that's it. I have it now here. So I can go back to my user and uh, grant him uh, a license because otherwise it will not work so i will go to my user one so it's sophie here and i will go now on my license and i will do assignment and i want this okay so he have all this but what i need is intune i intune here okay all the other ones for security advanced fruit protection so i will do save and that's it now sophie has a license wow fantastic okay so that's the first solution that you must do so i will stop now the recording and after we will start to uh to see how is it working and this is quite amazing see you in the next section bye